Hello, my friends. How are you tonight? It's Wacky Wednesday, that's for sure. Welcome to Chocolate Tour with Laura Christensen, where I love to show you guys how to make stuff. Hey, Tori. How are you? Did you get a... Uh... <sighs> Hi, Nikki Brown. <laughs> Tori, did you get Raiden and Carter's pictures taken today? Hi, you guys. Look at you guys all popping on. Okay, if you're watching this, other than the ladies that are on here right now, you're watching the replay. <laughs> you guys are fast tonight. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hi, I have my camera really close tonight, so hopefully I can see all your comments. I am super excited to show you this particular... Uh, project because one I've never done this before and two you're gonna experience it with me and I think it's gonna be really cool so I went ahead and I prepared my transfer and my chalk I'm actually using ink tonight because we're gonna use this lampshade and if this is an actual hanging lampshade and it actually is like a fabric it's not plastic so it has like a fabricy, a fabricy feel. So let's get this started. What I'm going to be using tonight is the what I call the boho flowers, and my girls are into like succulents and plants. Hi, Sarah. And I can't keep plants alive for nothing, so I have the support of them, of course. But so this transfer is like a D or C size transfer. It's huge, it's really long. And what I, what I did is I've never used it before, but I went ahead, I cut it apart, and I prepared it with the numbers so that as I'm crafting tonight, I know exactly what backer sheet goes to what transfer because I'm gonna be cleaning a lot of transfers tonight. So also, these transfers are reusable, so that's why I wanna make sure I get the right backer sheet on the correct transfer. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm really stinking nervous to do this because, hi Carrie, how are you? Um, I wasn't sure like if I was gonna use chalk paste or chalk ink. So I kinda want to get the watercolor effect with this particular transfer because it has a lot of spacing in it. So the first step, hi, the first step is to basically outline my project. And I'm gonna show you part of it tonight. And then I'm gonna continue to work on it and I will, hi Sarah, I will um, of course post a finished pro project picture with you, but okay. So, when you're working with anything that is fabric-y or um, other than like raw wood or uh, actual signage, you don't have to fuzz your transfer because you want this transfer to be as sticky as possible so there is no bleeding when I go to apply my ink. So I use ink on any type of fabric, like a pillowcase, a shirt. Look at those hearts. You guys are awesome. Um, baby onesies, dish towels, anything like that, I use my fabric. So this particular lampshade has a crease in the back. So I'm going to take this transfer and I'm going to line it up. And I know you can't quite see that, but I'm going to line it up and I will show you once I get it. Oh, look at that. I almost got it perfect. I'm trying to get the particular flowers all the way down to the bottom so my transfer the silk part looks kind of kitty wampus but the flowers look pretty uh, straight and even with the edge hi Pam ah, how are you girl okay so I just want to make sure that I tried to like put a ball in here to hold it but since this has 
a metal mechanism in it, it the ball wouldn't fit. So I just want to make sure, because this is round, and I didn't, I, I haven't practiced, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it's going to look amazing, and it's going to turn out awesome. So I'm going to do the outline in black. My daughter said, now why, she didn't say, now why would you do black? She's like, why would you do black? Well, because, <laughs> did I do a good impersonation of a teenager? Um, I said because what I want to do is I want to do it all in black and I'll peel my transfer off and then I'm gonna go in with more color and I'm basically gonna like watercolor it and then I'm gonna go let it dry I'll probably have to let it dry overnight um, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take the same transfer and I'm gonna lay it back over all the flowers that I just colored in, and I'm gonna outline it again, and it's really gonna pop. So let's hope it works, right? Okay, so when you're working with Chocotour ink, it is a very, very permanent product versus our Chocotour paste. Our paste is a water-soluble product that can be like on a board or on a window or on any type of raw wood surface that isn't sealed this can be actually washed off with water now with the chalk tour boards it comes completely off there's no shadowing it looks awesome if you did it on a raw piece of wood you probably have some staining um, so my suggestion is depending upon what type of piece you want to put chalk paste on you want to make sure you can get it off if you want to reuse that surface Ink is a different product, it's permanent. So like my shirt, I made this back in December of 2018 and it's what, May 20th of 2020, a year and a half. Now, my shirt's getting a little tired. I've got a few little like balls on it, you know, from like under my armpits and on top of my shirt, but you can see that my ink is lasting a long time. So since this is gonna be hung up in my daughter's room, uh, I don't have to seal it. It's going to be fine. So here we go. This is scary. All right. I see that part of my transfer is not sticking quite the way I want. So just give it a double check. It looks good. And thanks for all of you guys for taking time tonight to hang out with me. So we're just going to do uh, just do a little bit of ink at a time and what I am seeing is that the surface of the lampshade is really sucking in the the ink so it might just take like a little bit more ink than normal like the normal than a shirt so I know this might just take a while, but let me ask you guys, have you guys got your hair done yet? <laughs> Whether it be a cut or a color. I was watching my live this morning when I woke up really, really early, and I noticed that my hair color is really getting natu more natural than what I wanted. So have you guys gotten your hair done yet? Yes or no? Hi, Krista. Hi, Alyssa. Welcome, welcome. We're making a lampshade with some Chocotour ink. And we're using what is called Boho Flowers. Super stinking cute, super trendy for the season. Especially if you're a plant person. So I'm just loading up my squeegee with ink, and if you notice, I'm basically going down, up and down with my ink. I'm not going back and forth, left and right, because I want to make sure that I don't have any lines. And two, that would also possibly make my transfer shift on me. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. 
So we're almost done. See how fast this is? It's amazing. I could never, I'm not an artistic person as far as painting or drawing or anything like that. These transfers do all the hard work for me. And they are reusable. So I could technically put this on like a, like a denim jean jacket. This would be super cute. Okay, now I'm just gonna turn it around. I like to do my project so that you guys can all witness it with me instead of turning it away from you. So I like to face you guys. So now what I'm basically doing is I'm just going back over. I'm looking to see if I can see any white popping through and I can definitely like see the design on the shade of the silk screen transfer. Okay, here we go. Always check your hands when you're working with ink so that you don't touch your fabric. Look at all you guys popping out here. This is exciting. Okay, drum roll, hit those like buttons. <laughs> oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Isn't that amazing? I'm just gonna drop my transfer in water because I don't want my ink to sit on here. So give me one second. All right. Isn't that stinking amazing? Okay, so there is one spot here that is not real dark with the black ink, but that's okay because <laughs> look at all those hearts. What's going to happen is I'm going to blow dry it. And then I'm just going to I'm just going to try to this blow drying process will just basically help it dry quicker. And I don't want to get it too close because the inside lining of this lampshade is plastic. So, and we don't want to melt it, right? So we just want to give it a quick, a quick blow dry. Now I feel like the greenery right here seems to be a lot darker than the flowers. But I believe that's because of how thick the transfer cutout was. So I don't, it's not that I did anything wrong. It just makes it look almost like a coloring page, if you will. Yay, lucky dog, Pam. My daughter does my hair and I just said to her the other day, it's time for me to get a new haircut and a new little touch up job. So yeah, the question of the day for those of you that are just joining, have you been able to get your hair done yet? Okay, so here we go. Now what I'm gonna do is, and if you guys are watching this and you see those comments and you don't like them, swipe to the right, they will go away so you can see the full project. I'm just gonna squeegee all that excess ink back into my jar. I'm gonna close my lid. Okay, so uh, I'm debating. For those of you that are chocolate tour designers on here, should I try to watercolor with ink or should I try to watercolor with chalk paste? I just, it's not quite dry yet. I gotta dry that some more. So we're gonna do this little red tulip up here. And with ink, when you're working with ink and fabric, you really want to let your ink dry because what you're going to, I'm not going to do this on the lampshade, but like on my shirt, I really want to make sure that I blue dry that white chalk paste because then I'm going to iron it inside and out for four minutes. So if you have a Cricut Easy Press, you can do it for 30 seconds, but generally just an iron works fine with parchment paper. And you don't want your ink to be wet because when you lift up that parchment paper, part of the ink will come up with that. So 
I'm thinking that this fabric might be less susceptible for my ink to dry as quickly, so I may have to I may have to let it sit overnight so that it can get that full effect of drying. And then I can come back in and watercolor it. So that could be another possibility. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, but my lamp shaded. Woo, it's hot. Wow, yeah. Moral of the story is the plastic in, see, see it kind of buckled right here. <laughs> oh, I got my heat tool too close to it. Whoops. So basically what we want is we want that to come back to room temperature. Now, I don't know if that's going to be permanent or not. I don't know. I'm just winging it with you guys. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Okay. So this is going to be the effect. I'm going to show you how this works. So you guys can all get back to your families. And I appreciate you hanging out with me. So this is going to be a hanging light and it is a very, very, very amazing surface to utilize and it has a little off and on button, I believe. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. Let me go turn it on for you. Oh, here it is. So this is what it's going to look like once I get it all, all done. But it will hang from the ceiling in my daughter's room and then I'm going to go back in. When all my ink dries, I'm going to go back in and watercolor it. So what do you think? Isn't that groovy? Super fun surface to work with. There's so many possibilities. You could do like, um, you could put something like this in your beach house on your porch and you could put like, welcome to our porch. There's, there's just so many possibilities. So if you like this project tonight, you guys, um, the big, biggest compliment you guys could give me is to share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. For those of you that know me really well, I, I treat my chocolate tour as like a business. I do workshops, I teach people, I show people how to do chocolate tour as well. So happy Wacky Wednesday. If you guys are in for some fun transfers, I am going to be doing transfer Tuesdays and transfer Thursdays over in my VIP group. So hashtag VIP group if you want in on some of those. And I also share lots of ideas in there as well that I don't share on my business page. So again, thanks for your time. I hope you guys do something nice for yourself. And let's see, tomorrow's Thursday. I will see you guys tomorrow night, Thursday, 830. And we'll talk again. Bye guys. Thank you.